were exposed to the same falsehoods about this plant that we were. And this has left both politicians and the general public in a very dazed and confused state about this issue. Even to this day, there are still individuals who are being very well paid to keep the waters muddy surrounding this subject, so the public will be unable to see the simple truth for themselves. Politicians, much like the rest of us, can be fooled and manipulated quite easily too. And once the propaganda they were exposed to about this plant became embedded in their beliefs, and they were still hearing negative things concerning cannabis, this made it much more easy for them to reject and ignore all these counterclaims about this plant's real medical virtues, since those in authority were still actually being led to believe that it was harmful. When you do not hold a position of authority, your opinions can do little to damage others. But if you represent the people, your opinions had better be based on facts, which have been honestly proven, and not on lies and propaganda about this plan, which you had heard a long time ago, without even questioning the information you had been given. When it comes to the use of this natural oil, countless lives are now at stake. So if, politicians, so if politicians choose to continue on with this travesty of justice against us all, then no doubt many of those who are forced to watch friends and loved ones suffer and die will actually now have every reason to hold those who represent them responsible. We the people put our trust in these individuals who are supposed to be representing and protecting us properly. And if those in authority continue to, den to deny the simple truth about this plan, it will prove that those who are representing us are completely incompetent, and they have caused the suffering and death of countless individuals due to their negligence. They say that ignorance of the law is no excuse. So in my view, and the view of many others, claiming ignorance when you are supposed to have the facts to represent us properly is no excuse either. So I feel that it is now the duty of all governments to end the suffering of their people in the easiest and most expedient way possible before any more lives are sacrificed at the altar of greed. Although some doctors are already playing an active role in trying to bring an end to this plant's medical prohibition, there are still many other doctors who seem content to do nothing even though many of those who work in the medical profession have now witnessed the effects these extracts have had upon their own patients. As a doctor, your first responsibility is to the patient, and according to the Hippocratic Oath, doctors are supposed to do everything possible to see that no harm comes to their patients. Since practically all the medications and many treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation, and even the scans the medical system uses, do cause harm in one way or another. I think it's high time that doctors started following their own, their own sacred oath, and to do so, they would need to begin to use harmless medications, like the, like the medicinal extracts the cannabis plant can provide. When I speak about the problems with our medical systems, I often focus on the, on the oncologists, for they are the ones who are giving all the chemo and, therapy and radiation the cancer patient. When it is very well when it is a very well known fact that these horrible treatments actually can cause cancer, and in addition, they often bring about the death of the patient who is under treatment. 